Hi guys, welcome to another cash stuffing. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe and let's jump into the video. Okay, so today we are going to be stuffing a total of $1,480. So for my own cash envelopes, I won't put anything because I still have $20 from last week. I don't spend a lot of money um, while I'm at work because I normally just bring lunch from home. And then in the morning, um, I just, you know, get a croissant from Starbucks or something. So for rent, rent is going to be getting $170. So we have a $1, $50, and a $20. So tomorrow my fiance and I are heading to Philly because there is a Harry Potter exhibit which I'm really excited about. Loan is getting $100. So we're going to be going for two days which would be nice because we haven't really had like a weekend getaway and I've been working five days for a very long time with my new job. So it's nice to kind of just get away. MasterCard is getting $77 but I'm leaving that in my account so I could just pay it on the app. So there's 170 and then 100 in loan. So now we can jump to sinking funds. Okay, so I did get new envelopes because I wanted a little change. So I'll link them down below because off the top of my head, I can't remember where I got them. So Roth IRA is getting $100. So now has one, two, three hundred dollars. So I think what I'm gonna do is empty out my envelopes maybe once at the end of the month just so I can deposit it into my account. Um, bills is not getting anything. That's not getting anything. Wedding. So wedding is getting $100. So wedding has $300. So I forgot that I um, made some new envelopes as well, like debt. So for instance, I wanted to move loan to debt, but I'll do that after the video. So wedding has $300. Our home is getting $100. Should also have $300. My savings is getting 300. One, two, and three. Okay, so savings has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 820, 30, 40, 41, 42, and 43. So 843. So it has um, a weird number because any extra money that I have. Um, lying around I'll just put it into savings or if I have any money left over I'll put it towards savings babe is getting $50 so this is for my fiance's envelope so yes 50 70 91 dollars so this is for any gifts or any type of surprises I might want to have for him okay flash is getting 50 flash is my dog so Flash has $100. Okay, vacation is getting $100, so it'll be in travel. Okay, so travel has $200. So um, we normally put everything on our credit cards because we do um, use points when we travel to get um, free hotel nights and um, free airfare also. So I just leave this in here and then while we go on vacation somewhere, we end up paying it with whatever we have um, saved up in our accounts. Home is getting $20. So this is for our home if we have to get any um, things for the house, like anything in the kitchen. Uh, the bedroom, shampoo, all that stuff. So it has $30. I remember when I first moved in, I was spending money like crazy because I was always at home goods and just buying decor stuff. And I just had to really stop because when you live in an apartment, it's kind of hard to like store stuff. So I had to be really mindful of just spending money and just the space that we had. Health is getting $50. So health has 50, 70, 90, 110. And this is anything health related for myself, if I have to pay co-pays, if I have to, um, you know, pay anything extra out of my pocket. Okay, so I have these on the side just so I could remember the denominations. So gifts is getting $50. So I have these like this because this 50 and this 50 is supposed to go to my two cousins for their birthdays and I just haven't made the time to go over there. So I'll put this to the side. So gifts is getting 50 
So Gifts has $50, $70, So I just want to be ahead because there are still birthdays in my family coming up, so I just want to be ahead of that. So food is getting 50, so I'm going to put two 20s and two 5s. So this is if we um, order out. Um, there's one particular fish place that we get food from, or actually not the fish place, um, a Chinese food place, and they're cash only, so I like to have some cash at home. And then we'll also have money for tips. So food has 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, one dollars. Okay. Good times is going to be getting 120, so it's gonna get a 150 and three twenties. One, two, and three. So there's 50, 70, 90. Actually, this is 110. Mm, maybe I'll put another 10 in. All right, let me just put 110 for now in here. I did the math wrong, so if anything, there might be extra $10 at the end, so I'll just put it towards good time. So it has 110 total, I believe, yes. My envelope is going to be getting $50. Okay, so we can do a 50. So I have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60. So 160, my pen died. It's okay, I'm trying to film this video right after work and as fast as I can so I have something to put out. $160, okay. So nails is getting $20. This is for the next time I will do my nails. Self-care is getting $20. So these envelopes might look empty for my life last video but it's because I went on a massage with my friend and then I also went to do my nails with my mom so it's just nice to have some of this money saved up already okay next is holidays so Halloween is going to be getting $20 so we'll do a 10 and a 10 I think the denominations are wrong already because I'm missing some money so Halloween has 20 30 40 45 50 I knew I took out less than what I calculated, so I think it's my fault, but we'll just keep going until there's no money. I might have to redo this video or just continue it at another time. So Black Friday is getting $13. So here's the 13. Okay, so Black Friday has 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 dollars. Okay, and we did the six and seven of this 100 week challenge. And that's where I'm gonna cut the video because I only have a few singles left and I'm missing Christmas and I'm missing these amounts as well. So I will be back. I know I took out less money than what I needed, um, but yeah, we'll fix this. Okay, so I'm back with the rest of the money. So we're gonna continue from Christmas. And Christmas is getting $45. 20, 40, Okay, so Christmas now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 125 is in Christmas, which is very exciting. I can't wait till I hit the 500 mark because then I will be kind of like halfway there. 125. Okay, next we're going to do the 52 week challenge and that's going to get $13. So we're going to do a five. Um, actually, I think I have to break this 20. So let me see if I can break it here. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, I can't. Well, actually, what am I going to do? I'll just put the 20, and then I'll take, um, 7 back. So I'll take a 5, a 6, and a 7. So if the 2 we have 20, 5, 6, 7, 8. So $28. So 
28 is here. And then next we're going to do the 100 envelope. Okay, so we're going to do number 8 and number 9. There's 8 and 9. 5, 6, 7, 8. So I wasn't able to fill this up last year. I think I filled it up like halfway. So I'm excited to finish this this week, uh, this year. Eight, and then let's do nine. So it should be one, two, three, four. I have two extra dollars. And a five, so this is nine. Okay. So that is number nine. And with the last two dollars, um, I'm just gonna put it in a random envelope. So I'll just put it in my savings. Well, actually, yeah, I'll just put it in my savings. So th this is two dollars. So savings have 843. So actually now it makes it 845, which is better. Okay. Okay, so A45. Okay, so that concludes this week's cash stuffing. This was my third paycheck of July, and I'm excited for what August has in store for myself and for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for coming to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I love talking to all of you guys and watching your budget channels as well. And have a great weekend. Bye.